So it's, uh, it's Monday. I've uh, already talked to you a couple times a day. <laughs> There's no big philosophy or thought of the week this week. This week was all about getting through it, um, getting work done, getting my workouts done, eating right as much as possible. I think uh, it was Friday night. I ended up at a Chinese buffet, which there was a win there because I noticed that um, I think I went to the buffet twice, and neither time did I overload my plate. And then I never, I didn't really think about it. I just, you know, finished eating, paid the bill, was with friends, and left. Um, and that's a big win because, I mean, I used to go to a buffet and I'd eat four or five plates jacked full of food. Um, and this time I just wasn't thinking about it. It wasn't a conscious effort, just the way I ate. And I was more than satisfied when I walked out the door. Um, so, I mean, I guess that's a good thing. But, like I said, this whole week's just been about getting it done. I think you'll see that in the video that follows, although a lot of it's dark because a lot of my work this week was done before and after the sun was up. So I hope you're making a great week. Uh, I go for training on Sunday, so I'll face some new challenges next week, and I'm sure I'll take you along with me for the ride. So go uh, go have a great week, make a great week, all that good stuff, and um, yeah, get it done. All right, it is 10 minutes till 6 a.m., so 5.50. On Wednesday, I uh, just finished a workout, 5x5. Five five. Today was uh, squat, uh, bench, and bent over row. Um, since my injury, of course, I backed off the weight, so I'm starting to build back up, uh, following a 5x5 program still. Interesting today, I um, I usually don't talk to anybody in the gym. One of the guys was kind of, he wasn't rude, but he was kind of, you know, insistent. I don't want to be an ass, so I talked to him for a minute when I was on my rest. And I, was, I didn't hesitate to step back and start lifting again. And uh, then a lady, a woman who's, I should say a woman, who is working there, working out in the morning uh, she was in there and I noticed that her uh, pecs her pec liners up here up by the shoulder where they connect to the shoulder uh, man they were just like BAM I was like wow and so uh, I said wow you know you 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 know do you just lift to be in shape or what well she actually does shows she's getting ready for her first I don't know what class it is, but a first bodybuilding show where she has to actually do like poses and stuff. And I don't know enough about the bodybuilding world to be able to tell you what that kind of show is. So, uh, but she was saying that she's going to drop 20 pounds. Well, she said between 15 and 20 pounds before the show. And I'm just thinking, I don't know where she's going to lose it from because, I mean, I understand she'll look completely ripped and dehydrated and all that crap. But, um, I mean, she's only like 160 pounds now, uh, and she's kind of tall. She's almost, she's got to be 5'10", five, 5'11". Five, so I'm, I'm kind of baffled by that. But, um, yeah, anyway, it was kind of interesting to learn a little bit about bodybuilding because she was doing um, time under tension, a lot of time under tension to get the bulk of that muscle. She wasn't really worried about strength at all, and that's what she said. She, she said she's lifting to get as much bulk as she can uh, just before her cut because her cut starts in a week so um, that's uh, that's kind of baffling I I understand the cut and the bulk and cut cycles I just the extreme that she's gonna be doing it seems uh, seems a little crazy to me but teach their own I, I mean obviously uh, bodybuilding is popular and um, they're in a lot better shape than a lot of people including me so, anyway, that's just what I was thinking, and I thought I'd share it on my way home from uh, the gym. But I'm home now, so I will uh, catch you later in a week. Well, I don't know if you're going to see much of this, because it is 10 o'clock at night on uh, it's Thursday night. I um, just got done working, and as such, I'm getting ready to head home. 
Uh, it's been a long, brutal day. I had a NukeMed camera that had to have, well, it's a nuclear medicine camera that has a CT on it, which you don't understand what that is. But the CT part wasn't working, but the NukeMed was. So when I came to troubleshoot the camera, they had a stat patient come through ER, and I had to give up the equipment and wait to troubleshoot it because patients always come first as they should thank goodness <laughs> but that means that I had to sit around and wait for two and a half hours uh, which I'm getting paid for so you know I'm not complaining but uh, it just made for a long night well the, the reason I'm talking to you is because now I have to figure out it's already an hour well at least 30 minutes after I usually go to bed I'm not home yet <laughs> And I'm supposed to get up and lift at 5 a.m. So what my plan is actually is since I just got done putting in a 14 hour day, uh, my plan is to go ahead and sleep in, sleep till 6, which will give me close to 7 hours of sleep. And then um, what I think I'll do is go into work an hour late, which, you know, that's all okay as far as my company's concerned. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll get up an hour late, go ahead and lift like I normally would, and then just go through my normal routine. It's just I'll get to work an hour late and still get about seven hours of sleep and be able to function like a normal human being. Um, that's barring any problems getting home. So uh, that's the plan. That's my adaptation to life. Oh. Hey, it's Saturday. And uh, I'm up here working in the house. And I kind of wanted to show you where I'm starting today. Uh, well, I've already done a lot today, but I uh, start up here in the act. We should get back in far enough for you to really see. I've got uh, all that floor there. I've got a couple doors up here, so maybe we're going to try and get that squared away so it's usable space again. Now that the uh, the wiring's been run underneath it, uh, the second floor has been. Second story has been uh, wired, so I need to um, go ahead and put the floor back together up here so it's usable space again, and uh, yeah, then we'll worry about um, we'll worry about wiring the other stuff that doesn't need the floor up for it. All right, have a great week. Okay, this is what it looks like afterwards. Let me get the light. I've got uh, the place where you see holes, that's where wood has to be replaced because it did not survive being removed. So that's what I got done. And actually I'm going to do some other things to it to make it a little more sturdy up here. But I just wanted to show you the after effects. Good morning. It's Monday morning. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. It's just before 5 a.m. or maybe it's right at 5 a.m. It must be just before the phone hasn't gone off yet. Uh, just before 5 a.m. I am talking to you right this minute because I don't want to go work out at all and um, actually it's 5.04 and I'm pulling up to the gym now uh, it's rainy it's wet all I want to do is sleep but I didn't think about it too long I just got up and uh, and I'm headed out and I come here to gym because I heard that the most important exercise is consistency so I'm trying to be consistent trying to do what I know I need to do but I don't want to and it sucks, but I'm doing it. So I just want to let you know. Go make a great day. Okay, so now it's just about six o'clock. Um, and I am heading back from the workout. I just uh I want to let you know, man, it didn't get any better. It wasn't fine, it wasn't like a Eureka moment. It wasn't like all of a sudden everything was okay. Um I didn't want to do it, but I did it. I worked as hard as I could. I bumped all my numbers up five pounds, except the squat, which was by design, because I'm trying to get my squat form as perfect as I can before I go heavier. I lifted, uh, I squatted 210 again today. Um, I probably could do a lot more, but I don't know what my how my form would hold up, so I went ahead and kept it there. So anyway. The workout's done, so I guess I win. It's ugly, but it's an ugly win, and I love the ugly win. I hope you're going out and making a great day.